I'm Lila Čaušovic-Sučiska, Head of International and Information Department of the Confederation of Independent Trade Unions of Bosnia and Herzegovina. The best answer to the question of what democracy means today we can see, unfortunately, in those parts of the world and those societies where it doesn't exist. For me personally, democracy above all things means freedom. Freedom to think, to speak, to work. Freedom and democracy mean that I live a life following my dreams and striving to achieve my own goals. Democracy gives me a right to choose. Choose the life I want to live, who I trust, who I want to represent or lay me. Democracy gave us a right to organize as workers, to have our trade unions and to have our own workers' voice. As someone who has been working for trade unions for past 20 years, I know how much democracy means in everyday life. Hundreds and hundreds of different destinies that I've heard about. So many outreached hands that ask for help. Injustices that I unfortunately witnessed. That is a burden I carry with me every day. That is a price that we as a trade unionist have to pay. But to be a voice of those who cannot or are not allowed to speak, to stand in front of those who are humiliated or whose rights have been violated, to have a strength and power to rebel on any injustice in our society, that is a great responsibility but also a huge honor that democracy and trade unions gave us. Without that, we would be one of those people who are unfortunately forced to be silent, who live suffering behind closed doors without any kind of support or help. We very often forget how much strength democracy gives us as individuals. We allow ourselves to be shackled and our voice to be silenced. We forget, unfortunately, what Abraham Lincoln once said, and that is that democracy is a government of the people, by the people, for the people. We are that people, each of us. And that is why we must not allow ourselves not to use all the strength and power democracy gives us every day to make this world a better place for all of us. We must use that power to help those in need, to protect those who are weak. We must use that power to condemn any injustice in our societies to fight evil and to be a spoke persons for a good.